My name is Maddie Brown and I'm going to be giving my preparation outline self-analysis speech today. I am majoring in education here at Columbia College. I decided to take my class online because it would be easier for me considering the fact that I have grants that I have to take care of and I also work full time so it's the only way really that I actually would be able to go back to college and be able to attend school and do what I wanted to do. Um, I I am taking the course of introduction to speech to help me increase my ability to be able to speak in front of large audiences. I decided to take this course because I felt as though when I'm in front of people, I don't mind speaking in a smaller crowd, but I want to be able to speak in front of large crowds such as 100 to 300 people. The position that I currently have, I work at Army Community Service, and sometimes they are needing people to go out and do reintegration briefings where there may be 100 to 300 soldiers, sometimes 900 soldiers, and I do my job and I feel like I do it efficiently, but it made me feel better if I was more comfortable in being able to speak in front of large crowds and so forth. Um, I have a lot of strengths as a public speaker. My first strength is that I adore speaking to people about something that I truly believe in, and when I say something I truly believe in, I don't want to get in front of a bunch of people and just talk about any old thing or this is the topic, hey, run with it. No, I want to be able to speak about something that I truly believe in, such as cancer or AIDS or something of that nature that's really, I feel like it's really helping people and it has moral value behind it and a significant problem with the resolution that we're speaking about and us coming together as a whole and talking about it will be able to help people. Those are the type of things that I want to be able to publicly speak about. Um, my second strip is that I enjoy speaking to people when they listen. I want an audience that will pay attention to me and therefore I know that I need to be able to captivate their attention by being very motivated myself and being able to speak about things that everyone may be interested in or if they're not interested in at least keeping their attention. So maybe having a few humor statements in there here and there, something funny I guess so to speak. Um, I have some weaknesses as a public speaker. My first weakness is that I do not like speaking to large audiences, as I said earlier. I hate speaking in front of 300 to 400 people, and that's one thing that I want to get over, because I want to be able to do that. I want to be able to conquer my fear and be able to speak in front of large audiences and, and it not bother me. My second weakness is that I hate when there's distractions while I'm speaking. And what I mean by distractions, there may be a baby in the um, audience that's crying or a child that's not getting their way that's crying and stuff like that. That bothers me because even though I'm talking about my topic, it's kind of hard to stay focused and be on that topic when you have other things going on around you. It makes you feel like people aren't really listening to what you're saying or they're really not caring less about what you're talking about. It makes you feel um, really down in that aspect as far as speaking in front of someone and there's kids and other things going on that shouldn't be. Um, I can improve my public speaking by, I believe I can improve it by starting to speak in front of large audiences so that I can get over my fear of speaking in front of a lot of people and I am currently already doing that but I want to do it more and more until I'm to the point where I can come in and it's just a breathe. It doesn't bother me at all to speak in front of 900 people. Okay, what else do you need me to do? Just throw it at me. Things like that I feel will make me feel better doing it over and over again until I get to the point where it's okay, it's just like a normal job, I'm just coming in to do my work for the day. It doesn't bother me if there's 900 people or 1,000 people out there listening to me today. Um, I also feel like I can improve my public speaking if I start learning to ignore distractions and stay focused on what my topic is at hand. Whatever I'm speaking about, whether it be something in reference to cancer and, and helping women with breast cancer or something of that nature. If I could just stay focused and be on that topic, then the distractions around me wouldn't bother me as much, I feel, if I'm more focused. So that's one way I feel like I can help myself by doing that. The conclusion of my speech is I have come to the conclusion that the public is wiser than the wisest critic. That's a quote that I'm using there. But um, and what I mean by that is I've come to the conclusion that if I continue to do like I'm doing now, speaking in front of people more and more, then the better I'll become. Just like any job that you're doing or any education that you're learning as far as going to school and being educated. The more you do it, then the more comfortable you'll be and then the better you'll be. And that will be the end for today, ladies and gentlemen.